What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Ricky Rick, and your boy, Ricky Rick, is back with another Ricky Talk. Today is June 1st, which only means I have two more months before my 31st birthday. That is right, 31st. Anyways, your boy, Ricky Rick, is back with another Ricky Talk. I'm back with another blog. Um, today's blog, today's Ricky Talk, I am inspired to make this video by a friend of mine who I got to know through Instagram, our paths crossed and we met on Instagram, got to know this person. I love this person so much. I am not afraid to say that. I love this person. Like, I'm inspired by this person. This person inspires me. She's a woman. She's passionate like I am. She's passionate with music. She loves music so much. And the way she loves music reminds me of the way I love music. For those that don't know me that well, I'm going to share something with you guys. I've been passionate about three things in my life. Maybe four, but I'm going to say three. Number one, the first thing I was passionate about in my life was the sport of basketball. Basketball has been a big part of my life. It has brought me so many wonderful memories in my life on and off the court, on television. Um, my favorite basketball team is the Los Angeles Lakers. I grew up watching the Chicago Bulls with Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen, Tony Kukoc, Dennis Rodman, Phil Jackson. The list goes on and on. <clears throat> but I'm a diehard Laker fan. Kobe Bryant, Shaq. Eddie Jones, Devin George, Derek Fisher, Rick Fox, Lamar Odom. Once again, the list goes on and on. Ron Artez, Paul Gasol, you know, so many wonderful memories. With these two teams combined, I've seen 11 NBA titles won by teams that I rooted for, teams that I was rooting for, teams that brought me and my family and my friends so many wonderful memories growing up. The second thing that I've been passionate about is music. Music has been a way that kind of took away the stress that I had. Um, sometimes if I was having a bad day, I can always turn to music. And music would always be there. And music, you know, me picking the artist, me picking the sound, me picking the tone would like connect with the way I'm feeling. Like if I'm feeling sad, down or depressed or lonely, I can listen to those type of songs. And like I could be here in my car playing those songs, feeling sad, having myself a good cry. And you know what? I don't have to be around anybody to have a good time. Honestly, I could be sitting in my car like the way I am right now alone and I can play my music and I will have a good time. I could be recording this video and I'm having a good time. I could be bumping and being loud, bumping to the music and having a good time. Music has been a way for me to express how I'm feeling inside. Whether I'm in love and I just want to like play some love songs or if I'm feeling sad you know and I want to play some slow songs and like some sad songs with some heart and passion and you know some emotion or like let's say I'm feeling like a certain type of way you know like I'm feeling sexy I'm feeling like you know what it's a nice tonight girl you can play those songs too or let's say you want to be at the club and you're want to like you're the weekend's here and you want to have a good night and you know you turn up you know <clears throat> One of the things that I would always do coming home from school is go home, do my homework, and once the homework was done, I would work out and I would play my music. And I'll kid you not, I was one of those people. I made it right here in front of the world, in front of the YouTube world, in front of everybody who watches this. I was one of those type of people that I had like a comb, my TV remote, and I would pretend that's a mic, and I'd be rapping to my favorite music, my favorite songs. That's who I was, dancing in front of the mirror, being who I am, in my room, in my world, in the way I am right now with you guys, sharing this with you guys. 
The third thing that I've been passionate about, honestly, I didn't know I was passionate about it until just right now that I thought about it. My Ricky Talks, making these videos, talking to you guys, the world, you know, um, being able to express myself, being able to talk to you, being able to like give my thoughts and opinions, you know, life isn't a promise tomorrow. You know, there is no tomorrow. That's one of the things that I learned from Rocky Three. There is no tomorrow, you know. Always express how you feel. Always let the person that you like or love, let them know, you know. Whether they like you or don't like you, you know, at least you got it off your chest. At least you don't have to deal with the what if, you know. Don't be afraid to try. Don't be afraid to open up. I know there's a lot of people in this world that, you know, might fuck it up for a lot of people who are yet to come. People that we haven't met. People that we don't know. People that feel like there's just like someone that you, reminds you of somebody from your past. But... You know, you get to decide who you let in and who you don't. You know, in the end, if they fuck up or they turn out to be a bad person or a bad choice, remember that you let them in. Remember that you picked that person to be in your life. <clears throat> this video, I want to dedicate it to somebody, somebody very special, the, the way I started this video. Someone who, when I see this person, whether it's a photo, whether it's a music video, whether it's a video, and just seeing this person being passionate about what she's doing with her music, the joy that she gets, the work that she puts in, it reminds me of me, of what I do, what I used to do with me writing songs, with me like trying to come up with a verse, you know, me trying to come up with a video, me trying to come up with a topic for you guys to listen to, to talk about, and you know, with her, it's like it's something that she does for herself and she puts it out there for the world, hoping that someone will listen, someone will get that message and someone will enjoy it. You know, the fact that she has like a little movement and it's growing and it's growing and people are supporting it, supporting her. I love that. I love that, that she's getting all that positivity. I love that she's getting that attention. Because honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I speak the truth and I'm, I mean this. And I don't care if I don't get nothing out of it. Like, I don't want nothing out of it. I just want to see her happy. I want to see her continue to do what she loves to do. And I want her to have nothing but success in her life. I really mean that. I truly mean that. And I don't know. Just seeing her happy and seeing someone like her being passionate about the things that she's passionate about kind of reminds me like yo Ricky every single day 365 days make sure that every single day you make it count make sure that whatever it is that you're doing you love it you're passionate about it and you're gonna give it your all you know because that's what life is all about you know yes we all need jobs yes we all gotta wake up in the morning and go to work or whatever it is but we got to find that thing that we're passionate about and do it. Don't settle for anything less. The person that you're with, the person that you decide to be and spend the rest of your life with, don't settle just to have someone, just to be able to say, you know, I have a boyfriend or I have a girlfriend or I am not single. Don't be afraid to be alone. Don't be afraid to wait for the right person to come along because if you don't, you're going to end up with the wrong person and you're going to live a miserable life. You're going to live a life that you didn't want, a life that your family didn't want for you, a life that maybe your kids are going to suffer with you. I'm just saying, I just put that out there. Be the person that you want to be. Do the things that you want to do and be passionate about every single thing that you do. Surround yourself with good people who are going to bring you, whether it's a smile, make you feel positive, make you feel good about yourself, or encourage you, encourage you to do better. You know, those are the kind of people that you want in your circle, the kind of people that you want in your life. Like this girl, I'm so happy that I continue to do these Ricky Talks because I continue to meet people like this person that I'm speaking about right now. The reason I'm not saying her name 
It's because, <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm a little worried I'm going to pronounce it wrong. I believe her name is Nada, Nada Des. Nada Des? I'm sorry. Don't kill me. It's just that all this time we've been talking, but I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. But you know who I'm speaking of. And I'm going to let you know that I did this video in your honor. But I just love what you're doing, girl. And I love everything that you represent. I love watching your videos. I love your song. You know I support you. I support you. We have our talks. And I really do mean it from the bottom of my heart. I hope you continue to do it. I hope you make it. I honestly do. Because honestly, I see something in you. And you are a star. You are a star and you got it. Don't give up on that dream. Don't give up on your goal. And continue to reach for the sky. The sky is the limit for you. I know it. And from me to you, I wish you nothing but the best. And I hope you make it. And you know, this guy, Ricky, supports you, loves you, and got your back. Anything you need, don't be afraid to <clears throat> slide in through my DMs and let me know anything I can do to help. Because I will always be there to help out my friends. Well, this video is getting a little long. And my hand's a little shaky. <laughs> so I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to call this my passionate video. Um, my passionate blog. As always, if I'm not making you smile, if I'm not making you laugh, then your boy Ricky Rick ain't doing his job. And you already know your boy Ricky Rick does his job. Until next time, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Continue to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Let me know that you like it. I'm looking for 10 new subscribers. It's a brand new month. Can we do it? Let's do it. I need you guys. I need your love. I need your support. I need your likes. And I need you to comment below and let me know what you want to see next for a different video. As always, your boy Ricky Rick, I'm out.